what's up, Brownwin? Wanted to give you a quick video of Dusty. He right. is, um, he's hanging out actually up in our front office. Um, he's just holding a downstay. He's kind of, he's kind of taking a nap now. He's been there for a little bit. But um, we've got some, some distractions. Some people working in a session over there. And actually, I've had people been, been coming in and out of our front door here. Um, so I know that you know those entryways and people coming in and out of the door are really, really. Uh, big deal for him and that's kind of the biggest issue that we're looking at especially with you know people coming in and out of your house so what we've been doing with it with a dog like him um, he he needs to always oh, he needs some really really strong leadership um, he's been really really great with us we actually all really like him he's a super fun dog he's very smart he's very willing to please um, but he does need a, you know a very strong leader and he needs to um, always be in a command basically so so with a lot of dogs like this like these kind of you know super active super um, you know very hyper aware very um adrenalizing dogs that are they're pretty intense you know cattle dogs are pretty intense um they they need something to do a hundred percent of the time so you know it doesn't look like he's doing a lot but this is actually kind of hard for him he's he's going through a little stress because i'm making him down in, in the middle of this big room, and he knows there's people over there, and there's been people coming in and out, um, but what, he's, he's going through some stress, and, and it's good because he's, you know, he's, he's learning how to process the stress in a more effective way than that fight or flight response that he's used to doing with you. You know, he, he gets excited, he gets adrenalized, he, he tries to go after someone. Um, this is a much better state of mind for him to be in. It's a little harder for him to do because this is not what he normally does. He, he feels like he's got to take control most of the time when he's uncomfortable, but now, you know, he's a little uncomfortable and I'm just telling him, nope, you just need to stay in a down. Um, and as he kind of goes through a little stress and, and he's starting to relax a little bit more, um, you know, what this does is kind of showing him how to deal with those, those situations in a more beneficial way. Um, and, and really allows him, it builds a lot of trust in me as well. And it will with you as well. So with this, you know, he's like, he's like, yes, I love it. You know, he's nice and relaxed, hi buddy. Um, but it's, it's, it's letting him know that he doesn't need to, to go through with that decision. Like he needs to just look at me and I'm in charge and I'm that leader and I'm going to make this stressful thing go away by, you know, advocating for him and, and you know, making sure he's got something to do and you know the, the, if he doesn't want to be greeted by the person you know I'm not gonna let the person come up to him I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him busy doing this obedience so he learns what that job is and he 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 lets me take care of that stress instead of him he himself needing to feel like he takes care of that stress so so yeah I'll kind of walk him around okay buddy I always like to get him up like get him healing good boy kind of you know make him hold it down it's kind of hard you know for for him to sit still oh, he'll, good but you know so I'll get him up and move and kind of get that stress out a little bit kind of let him shake it off and walk it off and you can see you know we got another dog over here um, he's staying nice and calm with me and movement's gonna be really helpful um, but that impulse control of holding a down state is also, oh, heel. He's like, he thinks we're leaving. Come on, buddy, heel. Good. So I'm not going to let him sniff. I'm not going to let him go towards that door. I'm in charge. I'm going to be the leader and I'm going to um, lead him away from it and just remind him, nope, I'm, I'm, you're following me. Sit. Good man. Oh, come on, sit. And he knows the difference between sit and down. So I'm not going to let him slide into a down there. I'm going to make him hold that sit. Dusty down. Now I'll have him go into that down. So he's smart enough. He can, he, he knows the difference. So I'm not going to let him kind of be lazy and go into that down. So anyway, not a, a very active video, but I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about what we're seeing with him and, and how we are going to kind of move forward with this. So it is possible he can do this. He's actually doing really well off leash and everything. I've had him hanging out in my house off leash. Okay, buddy. I'll kind of show you some of that off leash healing and stuff with him now. Go back into the training room. I'll actually get you another video here of this really fast.